here we are with call of the night episode 8 and yeah last episode we got introduced to new vampires right and yeah ko got the choice if he wants to become a vampire or wants to be killed because having a human around that is not a vampire is a threat right because he could just go to someone the police or whatever and spill the beans about vampires right which is not good so yeah he got the choice and they basically cleared the yeah the misunderstanding with nazana why he is with nazana around uh, why he is around nazana all the time because other vampires don't like nazana and all that stuff so yeah they cleared some misunderstanding a little bit like that he wants to become a vampire and all that stuff but yeah will be interesting what happens from here so i would say if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Okay, we start here again. <laughs> and that is like quite a bit they have to catch up to again right from last episode. <clears throat> It's like two minutes or so, or maybe more. <laughs> I guess they put it in to refresh the mind, right, of the viewer, because it's been a week. Because this is important stuff. I think they cut some stuff out, I think, maybe. Yeah, I still don't understand what this huh, is all about. <laughs> what? Oh! Wait, what? How? Oh, that's how. Oh, <laughs> it gets interesting now. <sighs> so he has to put more his heart more into it, right? <laughs> Oh. Oh yeah, if you want to turn her into a vampire. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah, the kiss. Oh my god, dude, it just Oh my god, I completely missed that. <laughs> I have to rewatch that part. But yeah, that means there's a time limit on when Shirakawa can become a vampire, right? Because she got her blood sucked too by Nazana, I think. Oh. <laughs> I guess she's happy about it too. Oh my god, the moon looks so good. But yeah, I completely forgot about the kiss. I think what I thought that Nazuna forgot was uh, to tell him, like, you want to turn her into a vampire, right? So I sucked her blood, so there's a time limit on her. So you have to turn into a vampire in less than a year so that you can suck her blood and make her fall in love with you in time so that you can turn into a vampire. Did she, I mean, we, <clears throat> we don't know. Did she suck... Shirakawa's blood? I think she did, right? Because that's the whole plan about, like, giving them massage, right? Giving them massage, making them doze off, then suck the blood. So, if that's, if she did that, that means there's less than a year left 
for Cole to turn into a vampire and make her fall in love if he wants to keep his promise, if you want to call it that. Or maybe, can, can female vampires turn females into vampires? Or is it like, does it have to be the opposite sex, basically? Hmm. That would be also interesting to know if that's a thing in this world. <coughs> So maybe Nazuna isn't qualifying, maybe, to turn a female into a vampire. So maybe Ko has more time. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how much time has it been since the first time? <laughs> yes. You just have to try harder. Yeah, if you can't turn into a vampire, right? They might see him as a threat afterwards. Yep. <clears throat> Could be a threat. <laughs> Help me fall in love with a vampire with Nazna. Oh, here we go. She gives advice. Does she have romantical advice? Does she know how that stuff works? <laughs> Because maybe she never was in a relationship or something, so... Daytime. Because it's different things, right? <laughs> Oh, there's another guy. Okay. From the intro. Mahiru. Mahiru Academia. <laughs> that was bad. Mm-hmm. Another person that enjoys nightlife? I can't remember. <laughs> oh? Don't tell me it's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a blonde vampire girl but I mean she goes after older guys right so maybe not Wow. <laughs> but didn't he say hang out again? That would that would mean that they hung out together already at some point. My question, is it a vampire or not? <coughs> oh, 
Okay. When you watch the a uh, ants. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think this is the most daytime stuff we saw so far. <laughs> no. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> he wants to get away. Uh oh. Is she tasting him? But now he knows that he doesn't have. Yes. And she isn't paying attention to the people that want to date her or something. <laughs> wow. She's in trance. Oh, that gets her uh, all going. <laughs> An innocent boy. You don't get that every day. All right. <laughs> yeah, but does that count for Nazana. <laughs> I mean that's true. Wow. Oh uh oh. <laughs> Girl, I have a time limit. Go on a date with me. <laughs> we have to make progress now. I mean, going into a theater, into the cinema, is probably one of the worst ways to make progress, right? Because you just sit there and watch. The stuff she doesn't like. <laughs> yeah, I think this stuff doesn't work for her. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? Is he saying it? Because then she gets pissed. Mm-hmm. She identifies the handwriting.
Dum dum dum. <laughs> yeah, the usual approach that works for others doesn't work here, right? So we have to change. Oh, she still has the letter, the note. Could have gotten food if you went with the list. Oh, she died in game. Is she coming to his house? I mean, she can go through walls, right? Oh, there she is. Yeah, some food and stuff. <laughs> because I'm hungry. <laughs> On a date you go to get to know a person better and have a good time. I mean, all kinds of things can be considered a date, right? <laughs> and there are the drunk guys again, but not on the bench. <laughs> to the usual place. Okay, here we go. Back to the bench. Oh, that's him. So maybe not the vampire. Found him. <laughs> okay, now they hang out at night. So I guess the girl he liked wasn't one of those two. Hey, I saw a friend over there I want to that I didn't saw in a long time. So I hang out with him. Easy clap. I guess that makes sense, right? Sounds like a cool dude. <laughs> and Akira is here. Yay! Yep. I mean, my hero is the same. <laughs> no, I mean, he's not skipping school, but the part with the girl. He 
indeed it is. <laughs> the girl. Do we find out who it is? <laughs> Do they go spying? Maybe Akira is. Oh. Is this also a vampire? Maybe? Why else would Nazna? Pay attention to him. Maybe he is a vampire. Maybe she knows him because he's a vampire. Man, I feel like I missed so many parts about this episode. I have to rewatch it so badly. <laughs> Or it's just because of the hand holding, maybe? Yep. Um, okay. I have to rewatch this episode so badly, so yeah. <laughs> okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, interesting episode, right? Because now we know more about this whole getting or becoming a vampire thing. That there's basically a time limit and that explains why they were why they were all like her huh? at the end of last episode which confused me right because they were like he wants to take years or he's fine if it takes years but there is a time limit so they were like yeah buddy that's not working out so well <laughs> he doesn't know that that there's a time limit because nothing forgot to tell him and so yeah they were surprised um which makes things way worse, right? Because how much time has it been since he got his blood sucked the first time, right? <sighs> it's it it's been days. We don't know if it's weeks or maybe already a month or so. So depending on how much time it has been, yeah, could be not that much time anymore, right? It could be maybe only eleven months or maybe ten months depending on how many days or weeks or so have passed, right? So, that's not good. Which makes sense, I mean, because that's why vampires want <clears throat> to not kill someone that could be a vampire, right? Because their options are limited, right? They can get in contact with someone, suck their blood, or make them fall in love, but suck their blood and then... There's like a one year countdown and if they can't turn that person into a vampire in like this one year, it's over, right? So, yeah, makes sense that they are worried about like their, their numbers, right? How many vampires there are that they don't want to kill potential vampires because it's limited, right? Their options. Um, <clears throat> so, it, what I'm wondering now is it is... Is it limited? Like, if someone gets his blood sucked and this one year is over, he can never become a vampire again, right? Not even when he gets sucked by another vampire, right? So that each vampire has like a one year shot to turn this person into a vampire, right? It's like one time and done, right? So since Nazana sucked his blood, he has like a one year countdown and if that's over, he can never become a vampire in any way. <clears throat> Man, that really limited limits the possibilities of turning people into vampires, right? 
because there are basically 7 billion humans, right? And if you suck the blood of each of them, some will turn into vampires, right? But the other ones that don't turn into vampires in like one year are all done, over. They can't turn into new vampires. So the only way to get new vampires if every human being has been sucked <laughs> is basically only the newborns that will be a new chance, right? And for them, you have to wait, basically wait to grow up, right? I mean, it's not likely that they will suck the blood of every human being, right? Um, but just like as to get like a grasp of the situation, right? So they basically have like 7 billion years, but if they suck the blood of like 10,000 humans per day, then, right? You get what I mean, right? It's like very limited because it's like, Seven human, uh, seven billion humans, so seven billion opportunities, and if those are over, it's over. And then they just have like the newborns that are opportunities, and if like most of them fail, then yeah, it makes sense that eventually, if most of those chances fail, the population of vampires gets less and less and less if they don't have a high success rate. So yeah, it really shows how. That they don't want to kill someone if they don't have to, right? If the person wants to, be, wants to become a vampire, that's good. It really makes sense now, because this is like, again, a big twist on this whole vampire theme that is not normal, right? <clears throat> so, very interesting again. And then we meet uh, Mahiro, who seems like a cool dude, right? From what Ko says, he seems like a cool dude. Um, I was worried that he maybe... Not worried, but I was interested if he maybe meets a vampire girl. At night, but from her looks, she she looks more like a background character, right? So she might not be a vampire. Um, I was a bit suspicious because of the look that Nazuna gave him at the end of the episode. I don't think that she was looking at the girl. Because, like I said, she looks like a background character, not really like a vampire. So I think she is not a vampire. So maybe I was wondering if she knows my hero and knows that he is a vampire. Um, but I don't think so. Maybe what she looked at when we saw, like, the end end of the episode, when they were holding hands, because we saw my hero and the girl holding hands, maybe it was just, like, that they're, like, dating or something, right? And that Nazna wants to emulate that a bit, right? Getting closer to Ko. Because, I mean... At this point, I mean, we know Nazuna is not really interested in this whole relationship thing, right? We know that Nazuna is not really interested in this whole relationship thing, right? Um, but at this point, she has to know. If Ko doesn't get turned into a vampire in, like, the end of the year, from the point where she sucked his blood the first time then it's over, right? And then is his life is basically at risk because he is a human that can't become a vampire, that knows stuff about vampires, and so he's a threat, right? Um, I mean, I guess they could maybe get to the conclusion, okay, he's a human and he knows stuff about vampires, but he never will tell anyone about it because he likes vampires, right? So maybe even if he can't become a vampire, they are cool with him, maybe, right? Because... One second... Um, so maybe they are cool with him if he, so maybe they are cool with him being a human, but not a vampire, right? Maybe he can be an exception, because at this point it's, I'm like wondering, will he become a vampire at the end of the story? I, I mean, I guess he will be, right? I guess that's the whole point, that he, it will maybe be, it will maybe be close, but I guess he will become a vampire, right? Because, like I said, I think that's like the whole thing. We go to, through the hardship. We go through the hardship of him wanting to become a vampire, but having having a hard time, and in the end, he will become a vampire, right? Um, <clears throat> but I mean, maybe there is this twist that it won't happen, right? And then would be weird if they just kill him, right? So I guess maybe he won't become a vampire, but they are cool with him being just a human, right? Because they know he won't tell anyone. Um, 
And yeah, I mean, this is also the thing. He wants to turn Shirakawa into a vampire, but if Nazuna sucked her blood and a female vampire can turn a girl into a vampire, then her countdown is already ticking, right? Because I think, it, I would guess, a year hasn't passed yet. So I guess there's some time left. But that means if Ko wants to hold true on his... Promise, if you want to call it that, that he wants to turn Shirakawa into a vampire, then he has to fall in love with Nazuna, that he can become a vampire, that so that he can make Shirakawa make fall in love with him, so that he can turn her into a vampire. You know what I mean? So the time is even like more limited, right? Because Shirakawa maybe got her su blood sucked uh, way earlier than Ko, maybe. So time limits, right? Is another thing you have to do to, to think about if you think about Shirakawa and Ko's promise, if you want to call it that. Oh yeah, will be will be very interesting to see where this is all going, right? If it will be like a close call that Ko gets turned into a vampire, if he becomes a vampire or maybe not, and if he maybe gets becomes a vampire early enough so that he can maybe turn Shirakawa into a vampire, right? Very interesting and yeah. I, I, I'm also like, like I said, I'm interested in uh, Mahiro, if the girl is really a vampire, or if the girl is a vampire or not, because like I said, it looks like she's not, but maybe she is, I don't know, and yeah, I also can't wait to see the other girls, because the other vampire girls, because now we saw uh, Sherry, I think is her name, um, and she was like very interested in the whole idea that or not interested, but like, she was very much liking it, how innocent Ko was, right? So that was kind of funny. She even like ignored her text messages, messages, which I think are from guys that want to go out on a date with her, right? People that she might, might try to turn into vampires. So she even ignored those because she was so into Co being so innocent. <laughs> so I'm really interested to see the other vampires interact with Co, right? And how they see Co, if they like him or not. So yeah, that will be very interesting to see. Can't wait for the next episode. Because I guess I could imagine that maybe next episode we will maybe see another vampire, a different vampire, right? Not Cherry again. Um... Yeah, I'm just interested to see more, right? It's always fun to watch, and I want to see where it's going. Especially now that, now that we know that there's a time limit and that they have to hurry. Because, like I said, even Nazna now has to realize there's a time limit, and if he can't become a vampire in that time limit, then he might get killed, right? So if she likes Ko and wants to hang around with Ko forever or whatever, then she has to get more open, right? She has to open up, she has to be more romantic, and I mean, on some a aspects in this episode, it seems like she still doesn't care, right? She just wants to do her own thing, right? But on other, on other, like, scenes, we saw that she might try to become more open, right? Holding hands, because, I mean, she made it sound like, yeah, you just run away or you just disappeared right so holding hands so that i don't lose you again right um that you don't disappear suddenly again but i guess it was more like in a romantic way she just didn't want to admit it so she made this made up this excuse that he just disappeared and to not lose him again randomly then hold hands right um and when they were when she looked at the list again because she was hungry Continuing the date with the last, with the end basically, and clearing clearing up basically like here we are doing this, we are enjoying this, so this is also a date, right? So we don't have to do all this other stuff. So I guess she is a bit her old self, right? But also is trying to open up a bit here and there, um, because I mean, like I said, if she wants to be around with Ko for a longer duration, not risk him dying, then she has to open up and has to. Well, help him turn into a vampire, right? But yeah, so I'm just talking and talking and talking. It's 13 minutes, goddammit. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, 
Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.